Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 13 of <laughs> Fake Grand Order Babylonus. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, how the hell are they going to beat this thing? Uh, that's all I really want to know. I just want a figure of her, but I know, like, finding a figure of her is probably expensive as fuck. Because she has so much detail on hers. Her and Ishtar, like, goddamn. Okay, so yeah, how the hell are you going to defeat that? What did he, what did she just do to you? We seriously on this top. Seriously? Then he'll also perish. Yeah, I mean, obviously, as much as I love her, you need to kind of do something to her. Let's talk you naked or something. I know you, but you're tiny. <laughs> I mean, that might hit her like a day. Too big. <laughs> okay.
Holy shit. Fuck. Oh my god, hold your ground! But there was an attack in you though. <laughs> Girl, she about to spot you like a bug. I see. Hurry. But you can have some. Is this her one hit kill move? Cause bruh, mm mm.
Holy, how the heck you gonna dodge that? God, this is so beautiful. God, that's beautiful. Oh, my God, it's so And in a way, you kind of showed your true feelings around him, too. Mm hmm. I mean, it was obvious, though. <laughs> But jewels are nice, though. Shit. She healing? <gasps> Can you not do that?
So she's free. Mm-hmm. Including my husband, though. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my girls, I can't. I just need her to come home in the damn game for me, cause like God, <laughs> my luck. <laughs> Oh, because he was returning. <laughs> no. Fine. But what exactly were you looking for? You, you just, hello, hello. Were you looking for the Instagram? Yeah, you were.
Oh my, oh my god, and she's officially finally in the party in the group. Thank god. Jesus Christ. But, uh, can I just say I love this episode? This is the best freaking episode. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh god. I'm hot. <laughs> That was everything I needed. Jesus, I can't. Huh. <sighs> okay. In a way, this felt like... These last few episodes felt like a side story. Side quest. Now we're going back to the main quest. Dealing with the bullshit. The fact that my other best girl is coming back soon. I don't know when, but she's coming and she's gonna kick their ass and then she's gonna die and I'm not ready for this. I'm not emotionally prepared, but I'm so happy. My best girl is finally here. I just need her to come home in my version. Like, because trying to get her is just, uh I just want her. I got the event Ishtar from, like, several events ago, and I'm happy that I got her because I really wanted it. I just want her to come home. Hell, I want the one, I think, there's a picture of her where she is, it's just like, she's not, hold on. Yeah, but see, isn't that a little weird that it wasn't? So then where in the world could have it been buried? Unless freaking Medusa looking ass took her. Took him. Them. Yeah. Okay, as I was saying, there's a there's one card, I don't know if it's an event card, and I think it is. She's in a forest and she's like she has like hiking gear. I really want that freaking card. I just want her to come home, but she's being hard headed. She was she's being more hard headed than one of my other best girls in the Idol Master series because it took forever for me to spark for this dang girl and I've been getting free pulls every single day in another game that I'm playing and last week she finally came home and I freaking cried my ass off but seriously I, sh I need you to come home I just want you to come home just come please <laughs> come believe it I have Ishtar so just come home and then watch she's not gonna come home but I mean it was just good it was everything I wanted I'm glad freaking my baby is back in his in his body. His soul is back where he's supposed to be. But it's just like, ugh. We're finally back on the main story, guys. Even though it, it still is the main story, kind of, no matter what. I, like I said, just these last few episodes felt like a side quest. And then now we're going in back into the main story. So literally anything could happen now. I mean, ugh. Honestly, really, just that slash <laughs> with the baby scared the shit out of me. It, it was a damn good episode. I loved everything about it. The freaking quality of it, of this episode, was fucking top tier. I mean, goddamn. The shit, like, between this and My Hero, the budget for these two episodes were top tier as fuck. I mean, holy crap. I mean, you know what? No, I'm gonna strike that. Almost, like, every episode of this series is top tier, and the budget is just amazing, and then how... <clears throat> Especially where sometimes it's either the Facebook page or it's the Twitter page. One of the two usually po um, posts is like shots, like shot by shot by shot. And it just looks so beautifully well done. Even though it's not really 100% animated, you're just like in awe. Like, uh, I can't with the stamp series. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review to episode 13 of Fake Grand Order Babylon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 13. Bye, guys.